Hey guys, it's Zaley of ZaleyBarclay.com and today I'm here to tell you how you can actually record <laughs> a YouTube video and a podcast at the same time. I want you to stay tuned if this is something that you have been thinking of, about doing or if you are interested in doing either or both of them. A lot of us are doing this. It's 2019 and listen, we need to have it all figured out. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so there's a few reasons why you might want to do this. We all know that there are different platforms. People ingest content differently. You know, I might like Facebook or I might like YouTube or, you know, so you want to make sure that basically you're able to kind of kill two birds with one stone and not have to record about the same topic twice if you have a podcast and if you have a YouTube channel or if you're able to just streamline that process hey, why not? So today I'm doing this using Anchor. So I actually have my setup where I'm editing over here. I actually have my microphone over here and I have my laptop in front of me over here and my camera directly in front of me. And so I'm able to actually record my audio in Anchor and use it for my video as well and still place that audio on a different platform. The thing about Anchor that I love is that you're able to edit right inside of the platform itself. <laughs> so if you have not thought about podcasting or if you have not thought about using Anchor, I will drop that link below so that you can see what that is all about. It's the easiest way to podcast. Listen to me. If you are not using Anchor, definitely do. There are They have the application and they have the desktop program. I used to use the application, the phone application, but now I love using the desktop program because you're able to do awesome stuff like this. Like I said, kill, kill tubers with one stone. I'm super excited. <laughs> That's why I'm talking so quickly. So I use the ATR Audio Technica ATR 2100, the USB version. I will also share my review on that below. I love it more than the Blue Yeti or the Snowball. And so in using that, I'm able to actually just, you know, create with ease and directly into Anchor through my computer. And then I'm able to download whatever I recorded and add it as a clip in my audio. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I do that. I'm gonna give you a little back end insight on uh, what I do, and then you can see how you can do that yourself. Okay guys, so we are inside of Anchor. So this is what the back end or desktop of Anchor looks like. And so you are able to head into a new recording, right? And record a new segment. And then you're able to choose whatever microphone that you want to use. Like I said, I love using this ATR Audio Technica 2100 microphone. And you can definitely change your microphone as well. Then what you would do is you start recording. And when you start recording, I'm actually not going to record right now because I'm actually using this microphone and I don't want anything to go crazy on the back end. <laughs> but you are able to start recording. When you're done recording, what's gonna happen is they are going to let you know it's done and your library is going to look something like this. So you can see that I've been recording all day. And so the good thing is that you can click on your recording and download the audio file, right? So when you download the audio file, what's going to happen is, I'll just download it so that you guys can see. What happens is you end up with this, right? So you end up getting a link and that link guides you to where the audio is stored on the web. And what you do, this is really important because you this step is really essential. You don't wanna forget it. What you want to do is hit download. And when you download, it downloads into your system as an M4A file and you're able to drag that M4A file into your editor. So like I said, I'm using Final Cut Pro to edit. And so I'm going to drag my content directly from there, right? So this is it. I'm gonna drag it into Final Cut. And that way I can match it up in Final Cut 
um, and put it exactly where it's supposed to be. I will show you actually how I uh, match. I have a video on how I do that, on how I match my external audio to my video. I will link that down below so that you can do that and walk through that process as well. The beauty of it is I'm able to go onto the phone app and edit this episode as if it's a podcast with the same high quality audio, or I'm able to use it in my video. And so that is something that I really wanted to share my process with uh, you guys. Okay, guys, so I hope this was helpful for you. If you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, or if you are thinking about, you know, using your podcast, uh, sorry, your YouTube content on your podcast, like I said, kill two birds with one stone, I want you to let me know, like, what kind of, what, what's your favorite platform for ingesting content on and what platform probably inspires you the most? For me, what do I love using? I love looking at things on YouTube and on Facebook, and I love using both of them for business as well. You guys know that I have the Start, Shoot, Grow Video for Business Academy at startshootgrow.com for if you are an influencer, if you are a course creator, if you are a coach and you have not been using video in your business just yet, I teach you how you can do that. I teach you all my processes. I streamline everything for you so you don't have to kill yourself or bust your brain thinking about how you're able to just get on camera, kill it, sell your products and services, and build a relationship with the people on the other end. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you down below. <laughs> What's your favorite type of content? Where are you ha most happy ingesting content? And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, guys, let me know if this was helpful for you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>